Hey there, my lovely Libras. It's Lori. I am here to do your daily reading, tarot reading. I'm going to cleanse the energy from the room here if I can get my sage to burn. There we go. There we go. All right. Get some cleansing energy in here. Get rid of any negative feelings, energies, thoughts. All right, and we'll just leave that right over here to do its thing. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well and that you've had an awesome night. As I said, I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. I have got the zodiac die here. We'll roll that and see who you might be dealing with. All right, we've got a strong Leo, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, and possibly Pisces. Hey, okay. Welcome back to the channel if you are a returning viewer. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You're my biggest um, fans here on my channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you for every single like of a video, every comment, and every um, share that you guys do. Also, um, I would like to invite anybody who's new to the channel to join our awesome Libra community by subscribing to the channel. I am focusing all about Libra, Libra and Scorpios at this point. So, you guys get all my attention. Great community here. Okay, your overall energy coming into today's reading is the Ten of Wands. Now these readings are good no matter when you see them. Okay, you're meant to see them when you see them. And then you've got the High Priestess. Oh, the lovers are came out. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Temperance, the Emperor, the Hanged Man, and the Strength card. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six out of nine cards. Six out of nine cards are Major Arcana. That is huge, especially for just a daily reading. Okay, you yesterday you ended the day with a Queen of Wands attitude. Inspired, creative, um, looking forward to today, okay? And when you got up this morning, you said, I'm putting my burdens down. I am not going to um, continue to have bad days. I am going to use my intuition. I'm going to search my soul and find what really makes me happy in life. The lovers represents choices that we make. It does not have to be a person. It absolutely can be if you are looking for a person. So for those of you who are looking for love, there is a new love coming in. Those who are already in love, in a relationship with somebody, you are taking it to a higher level, okay? You are putting in the work on this relationship, you feel like it's equal give and take, you feel like everything is really, really balanced, um, your person is everything you could want them to be, strong, attractive, intellectual, great physique, <laughs> um, and they're going to stick around for the long haul. Okay, this is not somebody that you're involved with that's just going to, you know, they're not a fly by night, that's for sure. This is for the long haul, so this is very good. As far as seeing your day, it goes pretty much the same way, okay? You're in love, you're happy, um, things are going well, you're assessing your hard work that you put in, you feel that whatever you do at work is reciprocated. Occasionally, you give a little more than you receive, um, but I think in the end, it all washes out. Okay, let's go ahead and start clarifying here. Yeah, I see you being, feeling very compassionate today. Um, 
seeing things from a different perspective possibly by the end of the day. You know, a whole new um, beautiful way of seeing something. All right, let's go ahead and oh, look who just popped out here. The Empress, okay? So you've got this intuitive feeling that you are with the right person or you, okay, you're either already with the right person or you feel a soulmate coming in today. I mean, this is this could happen for you today, Libras, that are not with somebody, okay? This is strong soulmate energy coming in here. You two are definitely compatible, okay? Both of you are creative, abundant, intellectual, yeah, you both see the other person as somebody that could st stick around for a very, very long time. So soulmate energy. And those of you already involved in the relationship, it's the same thing. Okay? You are with your soulmate. You are definitely in a very good place. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify the lovers here, please. Can we get clarification of the lovers for the Libra Collective, please. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, okay? You're willing to put in the hard work on, a, on this relationship. The, not the hard work. You're willing to put in the work, okay? Because all relationships require effort. They don't... A, a good relationship doesn't just happen. It's work on both people's part okay and I see that you both are willing to work I mean this is two people in this card not just one both people are willing to put the effort in on this relationship as far as if you're looking for information about how your day is going to go in general or work at your job looking good okay looks like you uh, may be recognized for some of the work that you've done okay Okay, let's go ahead and get clarification of the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you may have been feeling a little inconsistent, wanting to change things up. Um, ugh, getting bored, getting tired, um, wanting to leave certain things behind. You must be, like, some of you must be working on projects. This is strictly work right now. Um... Some of you are working on projects that have gone on just a little too long and you're ready to put them behind. Here's that Six of Cups that shows up in every reading. Um, so something from the past may pop up today, okay? Um, it could also involve a person from your past that you were dating at one point. Very um, player energy here, okay? So they may pop in either to your mind or they may send you a text message or comment on something on Facebook that yeah this is this is them uh, they've been thinking about you a little bit okay and this is their way of reaching out to you but you put an end to it you, you left them out in the cold you walked away you started a new cycle you needed balance in your life yeah <laughs> you protected your heart, your your health, your wealth, all of it. Too much arguing. Okay. Yeah, you were giving too much in that circumstance. Okay, so this person, just be aware, somebody from your past may pop up on your social media, on your phone, um, text message. You might even get a card in the mail. If some of you are... Um, like have kids or something that's graduating or you're graduating from school, then you might personally be getting a card from this person congratulating you. Okay, so we have, oh, two cards here. Yeah, you're healing from that, whatever that was. I guess this is the track we're heading on now. Um, yeah, you reassessed your life and decided you wanted to be independent, okay? And you needed time to heal. And you needed justice to be served. You took a break. All right, um, why is this going this way? I'm not looking for a love reading. I'm looking for just a daily reading here for the Libras. The High Priestess, and did I just do that? Okay. So for some reason, your intuition is not on par or you're not listening to your intuition. 
Yeah, if this person comes back in, <laughs> it's going to be a tower moment. And it's not you're not going to be happy with this. Okay, let's get clarification of the uh, Six of Pentacles here, please. Just a card or two. Thank you. Clarification of the Six of Pentacles, please. Yeah, you've made a choice to go in a different direction. And this card wouldn't go back in. Yeah, you made a judgment call and decided to change directions. Okay. Even with the apology. Somebody's coming in with an apology. About things you didn't know. Trying to restore balance. There could be manipulation here. Okay. Look, you got the lovers again. Somebody um, is definitely messing with you here. Can we get clarification of the temperance card, please? Clarification of the temperance card for the Libra's daily reading. Clarification of the temperance card. Please. I'll be danged. <laughs> I'll be darned. Look at that. Okay, so somebody's going to come in here with some sort of apology. It is definitely a past lover, and they see you as being a dream come true. And you've got to temper your emotions. Some of you may be very happy to have this person back. They may have changed their ways. They may not be a player anymore, okay? Maybe they realize that you were actually the one for them, and it just took them time to discover that. I really do see somebody coming in here today from your past, Wanting to apologize, give you all the information that you didn't know, why they did what they did in the past. They want to talk to you. They want to make magic happen with you. They want to, they want to end your sleepless nights. Well, no, they don't. <laughs> they want to be passionate with you and keep you up all night, okay? Yeah. So somebody's coming in here. Somebody from your past is coming in here probably about midday for most of you. Um, okay, you're all in different parts of the world and parts of the country, so this could actually be, um, when I say midday, that would be the United States on the East Coast. So do your time zones, okay? It might be midnight at your place, um, whatever, but it'll be. I'm getting midday no matter where you are around the world. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the Emperor brings. This is pretty intriguing here. Let's clarify the Emperor energy here, please. And we've got a card that flipped. The King of Wands. Okay, so your person that's coming back may be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, Somebody you've always considered to be pretty lucky, maybe lucky with the ladies, a very attractive, energetic, passionate, fun-loving, creative ideas. Um, and this may have been what, all of that may be what scared you off earlier in this relationship. Or maybe they were still a player at that time okay but i'm getting that they've grown up they're not the knight of wands anymore they've matured and they understand how to use their passion um towards one person to benefit both themselves and the other person so yeah your person may be coming back here today um wow i am getting a strong sense that this is today today's the day Today is the day that you hear from this person. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've got strong, strong energy of them wanting to make sure that things get um, fixed with you. That they are doing whatever they can, you know, to to come at you right. To make sure you understand that they're not the way they were. Look at this. This is definitely somebody from your past coming back around. Okay, and yes, they're passionate about you. They are very, very passionate about you. Look at this. But they also consider themselves very, very lucky if they could have you. If they could be with you. And when I say have you, I don't mean just in bed. I'm talking have you in their life as a partner, as an equal. I This person has really grown up. Okay, let's clarify the hanged man here. Didn't flip. It flipped and flipped right back. Okay. The hanged man, please. Can we clarify the hanged man? I'm hearing um, that they spent a lot of time in soul searching, changing their ways, seeing things from a different perspective, learning how to balance their life. Okay? They don't want to juggle anymore. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck was the temperance. I just flipped that into the middle, okay? Okay. I'd like more information here about the hanged man, please. Can I get some more information about the hanged man? Energy, the two of pentacles energy here. What's going on? Oh, okay. So they really do want to come in and apologize to you. They don't want to fight. They do not want to fight. They may feel a little defensive or they may feel you'll be defensive or too emotional. They are definitely passionate about you, and they're hoping you are too. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the strength card here. Can we clarify the strength card for the Libra Collective? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just about dropped like 20 cards, and I hope I put them in the deck facing the right way. Okay, if not, it was meant to be. Teamwork. They want to work with you. Oh my gosh. All these cards came out. They've been watching you. <sighs> Look, we've got the Emperor twice. We've got the Sun. We've got the Queen of Cups and King of Pentacles. So I am hearing that you are two very, very different people. Okay? Definitely different people. Um... You've got a lot in common, but there are many, many differences that attract you to each other. Um, your person appears to be financially stable, okay? However, oh, they're a little emotional right now. They are, they're very emotional, worried. I, I'm getting a deep sense of, oh my gosh, what if they don't accept my apology? Oh, I don't know if I could handle the rejection. I just really want to be with my Libra. And it's taking all of their strength to come forward to tell you this. I mean, they are really trying to boss up here, okay? And they, and they really see you as being everything that they could want in a relationship, okay? And they see that they feel that the two of you could be very, very, very happy together. All right, so that's, that's really incredible energy here. Let's put this this way. Okay, they are worried that you will turn your back on them, that you will not... Um, Work as a team. So they don't know how you're going to react, Libra. They really don't know how you're going to react. <laughs> they see you as marriage material. They see you as being the right chemistry all the way through. And they just want to communicate that to you. They, they just want to tell you how they feel about you. Okay, let's see what we've got for an outcome here. Seven of Swords, the Empress. Oh, we have four cards too. Six of Swords and the Magician. Okay, so the Seven of Swords, they are going to try to come at you 
they've been trying to keep quiet about how they feel. Okay, but they see you as being, look at this, you've got the Empress twice and we've got the King of, the Emperor twice. I mean, come on. You guys are definitely soulmates, twin flames. Ugh. I think you've been in so many past lives that you're about at the last one. Okay, <laughs> but they see you as their world. They want to have kids with you. They want to make a future with you. They want to sail away and go to a happier place with you. They see life being much calmer and peaceful and um, just <sighs> balanced. Okay, but you're capable of doing whatever you two want. And when you two come together, there is real magic that happens. That's what I'm hearing is there is some real magic that happens here. So, Libras, quite the day. Quite the day going on here. That change in attitudes, I think, is what brought in this, this man, person here. Okay? That I am going to be inspired, creative, live life to the fullest. That Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands. Right there. King of Wands. Matching energies. That's what drew this person in. Let's get some enchanted map oracle cards here. Let's see what messages will come out now. Whoa, we've got movement. And we've got bone collector. Okay, bone collector was on the bottom and then movement. So, oh my gosh, I'm really hot. I'm sorry, guys. Oof. You are whole and have everything you need within. Okay, one person. You are, and that's the other thing that is drawing this person in. They are happy on their own, but they want and capable of doing whatever they want. However, they would love to share and share life with someone who is exactly the same. And you too are capable of being very, very happy on your own. You've got everything that you want. You know how to. Be happy while independent, but you too, you also are looking for that person that you could share your life with, okay? Not somebody to take from you, not somebody that um, just wants to overgive to you. You want the person that matches your energy, and guess what? That's coming in. And by the way, 2 and 8 is 10, and then if you add that 1 in, that's 11, that is the uh, divine telling you that this is happening. This is happening. Some of you may be moving to be with your person, or your person may be on the move to get to you. Okay? And I also heard for those just involved in a daily daily life, not looking for romance, you may be moving up at work. I started earlier. Your hard work would be recognized. I just got that message. Some of you may be elevated at work. A raise, a different position put in head of a project, something like that, okay? Department change, something, something along those lines. All right, and with the movement, you are in a time of positive forward motion, okay? We know that. Unexpected visitors see your person. They could be dropping you an email, text, showing up on your doorstep if you live in the same town. I see most people, most of your per, for most of you, your person has to come to you. They don't live in the same city, okay? But this is going to be completely unexpected because you're just going to be focused on your day, doing what you got to do, and all of a sudden, ding! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for you guys. So excited. Magic stream number 18. And that says, everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness. Yeah, your intuition. Your intuition here is telling you something. You, you knew it when you went to bed last night. You just felt so good. And you said, when I get up in the morning, I am just not going to drag my burdens around with me anymore. I'm going to release them. All right? I want to be happy. And that's where you're, you're going to end up. That's where your day is going to end up. Okay, listening. And that equals eight, too. 
um, five and three, eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. An open heart will hear the message. So I'm hearing you're going to see signs. You're going to be getting synchronicities. And then out of the blue. Wow. Okay, now, because this is a general reading, and because time is fluid, as I said at the beginning of this message, um, what did I say at the beginning of the message? Wow. That this message is meant to reach you whenever you're hearing it. That's what my message <laughs> Okay. Um, so if you don't hear this for four weeks after it's been put on YouTube, you are still hearing it at the right time, okay? So expect things to happen for you. And of course, if this is not resonating with you, please go ahead and check your other um, signs. Check your ascendant slash rising sign, your moon sign, your um, Venus sign, if you're looking for love questions. Um, check any of your 12 house signs. Um, and there is one specifically for money. So we're going to check into that later for a reading. Anyways, all right, my Libras, I love you guys. I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, thumbs up, comment, claim it. Subscribe to the channel so you can join this awesome community if you have not done so already. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.